वेरी गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स सो आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग सेफ एज वेल एज हेल्दी वेल आई थिंक आई हैव मेड अ कपल ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन इंडियस ट्वेल्व एंड आई थिंक दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो आई एम मेकिंग ऑन इंडियस ट्वेल्व वेर एम गुड कंसिडर अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव एग्जाम्पल एंड वील सी दप्लीकेशन ऑफ द फाइव स्टेप मॉडल विच वी क्रिएटेड You know, just to remind you, when we started the journey on Indus 12, I had created a five-step model where I said in step number one you would calculate a carrying amount. Then in step number two you would calculate a tax uh, a tax base. Then in step number three you would identify whether it's a taxable or a deductible temporary difference. Then in step number four you would identify the tax rate, and finally in step number five you're going to recognize the deferred tax. either in the pl or in the other comprehensive income or maybe directly in terms of soki or if it relates to business combination then adjusted against goodwill so i think let's take a comprehensive example where we can make a walk through on all the five steps which we have outlined for the application of this indas let's have a look at an example video see final ke liye agar aap an academy ki subscription plan kar rahe hain तो इस वक्त आपको सभी सी ए फाइनल सब्सक्रिप्शन पर 20% परसेंट फ्लैट ऑफ मिलेगा जी हां 20% परसेंट फ्लैट ऑफर चाहे आप आइकॉनिक या प्लस बैचेस कोई भी लेते हैं इसके अंदर आपको 20% परसेंट फ्लैट डिस्काउंट मिलेगा आप मेरा कोड इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं सी ए के बी टेन और आपको 20% परसेंट फ्लैट डिस्काउंट मिलेगा इसके अंदर आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन की अगर बात करें तो फोर मंथस 12 months, 24 months और 36 सिक्स मंथस के अलग अलग प्लान हैं तो डिपेंडिंग ऑन आप कौन सा प्लान चूज करते हैं यू कैन सेव ऑलमोस्ट अप टू अराउंड एट्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज ऑन योर सब्सक्रिप्शन प्लान ये ऑफर आज रात बारह बजे से पहले पहले यानी इलेवन फिफ्टी नाइन तक आप अवेल कर सकते हैं और समय इस वक्त तकरीबन तकरीबन सिक्स आवर्स के आसपास बचे हैं तो भाई फटाफट से प्लान कीजिए डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में आपको इसके अंदर लिंक्स मिलेंगे जिस पर आप ग्रुप वन ग्रुप टू और बोथ ग्रुप्स के प्लान्स इसके अंदर सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हैं और कोड इस्तेमाल कीजिए सी ए के बी टेन तो भाई किस बात का इंतजार कर रहे हैं आइए लेट्स क्रैक इट वेल दिस इज अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव एग्जाम्पल वेल इट मे नॉट साउंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट आई थिंक इट्स अल ट्रिकी वन सो आई थिंक लेट्स रीड दिस एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट विद यू The DTL of a company B Limited on March X one is two million, and this liability relates to a taxable temporary difference for a PPE which is eight million. Now, if you just look at a tax rate given below, it's twenty five percent. So, if you calculate on eight million the taxable temporary difference twenty five percent rate, it comes to two million. So, the DTL is nothing but it is the taxable temporary difference of eight million multiplied with a twenty five percent rate. Now we are looking at the year X one X two. So this is like the opening balance of DTL for the year. Then he says on thirty first March X two the carrying value of the PPE is forty four million. So that becomes like a step number one, and the tax base is given twenty seven million. So that becomes like a step number two. So I think we can easily identify the step number three that forty four million versus twenty seven million. So you get a difference seventeen million, which is you can say. a taxable temporary difference because the carrying amount of the asset is more than the tax base of the asset so step number 3 i would say that there is a difference of 17 million which is supposed to be a taxable temporary difference then he adds on that the carrying value of 44 million includes a surplus of 6 million which is due to revaluation of the property now this revaluation has got no effect on the tax base so naturally the income tax does not recognize any revaluations the property has not been previously revalued so that means this is the first time that there has been a increase in the asset value and that has been captured in the other comprehensive income by virtue of indus 16 now we given the tax rate is 25% compute the charge or credit for deferred tax that would appear in the consolidated statement of pnl of b for the year ended march x2 now i think let's apply the simple little steps i think three steps we've already applied step number 1 what is the carrying amount 44 million step number 2 what is the tax base 27 million step number 3 what is the 
taxable temporary difference 17 million and in step number four that would lead to a DTL. The tax rate is 25 percent so on 17 million if you take 25 percent it works out at 4.25 million. Now remember there is a DTL of 2 million at the beginning and there is a DTL at the end of the year 4.25 million that is at the end of X2. So basically the DTL increase is 2.25 million. So the amount of deferred tax liability or you can say the deferred tax expense which is to be recorded is supposed to be the difference between 4.25 and 2 million that is supposed to be 2.25 million. Now this is step number four and now in step number five we need to understand where do I recognize this 2.25 million. Now one thing is very clear that 6 million of the difference is relating to revaluation. And if you consider 6 million into the tax rate, that's 1.5 million. That means 1.5 million is the DTL attributed to a revaluation surplus. Now the revaluation surplus was taken in the OCI. So the related deferred tax on 6 million, that is 1.5, will also be taken in OCI. So out of the 2.25 million, we can say 1.5 million will go in the OCI and the remaining 0.75 million will be taken in the PLR. So the company would record a deferred tax expense to the extent of 1.5 in OCI and the deferred tax expense to the extent of 0.75 in the profit and loss account. The total DTL which would appear in the balance sheet is going to be a total of 4.25 because 2 million is already in the books. Another 2.25 million is recorded in the current year through PL and OCI. So the year end balance becomes 4.25. So this is an application of our five step model on deferred tax. This can be applied to any given situations. It's all in this particular video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye and take care.